Welcome to Electron Line, and in this video and the next videos to come, we're going to talk about graphing, graphing different kinds of equations. We're going to concentrate on uh, parabolas, uh, that's uh, second order equations, and we're also going to do some linear graphing as well. But we're going to learn about the, or at least review the basic principles. Hopefully the ones that are watching this video, they've already seen this before. It's just basically a reminder of how to do this correctly. So let's say we have uh, y equals x squared, your simple parabola, second order equation, or y equals the square root of x, and that's what that looks like. Now, how does the graph change when we write y equals x squared plus 2 and y equals the square root of x plus 2? Well, what this means is that for any particular value for x, you have a corresponding value for y, and that's what gives you this graph. Now, what we're saying is that for any given value for x, we're going to add 2 to that, and that equals y, which means that y will be 2 more than it was before for every value of x, which means it takes that entire graph and lifts it up 2 units. So what that looks like, it's like this. So there's still your y-axis, there's your x-axis. Notice this would be your vertex right here of the original parabola, but now everything is shifted up 2 units. So you go up 2 units, 1, 2, there we go and then you, draft, you graph your parabola just like before. So actually, what happens is everything has been lifted up two units, and that's what plus two means. Y is two bigger than it was before, whatever it was before. Same over here. What we're going to do here is we have this graph. Starts from the origin, goes up like this. Everything will be lifted up two units. One unit, two units, one, two. And so now your graph looks like that. So that's the corresponding graph where the whole graph is lifted, however many units you put there. What if you subtract? What if it's minus 3, minus 3? Well, what happens then is that whatever the value for y was before, it is now 3 less than before, which means the whole graph drops by 3 units. And what that looks like, it looks as follows. So here's your y-axis, there's your x-axis, so 1, 2, 3. That means the vertex, the lowest point on the parabola, now has dropped 3 units, and now the graph will look like this. Same over here, it'll take the whole graph and drop it three units. So here's your y and x-axis, like so, one, two, three, and so the whole graph looks like that. Everything dropped by three units, and so you may want to mark that, one, two, three, one, two, three, and of course that's minus because we went down instead of up, so that's a two right there. And so that's how we do that. That's how we graph things. When we add a, a constant at the end, or we subtract a constant at the end, it just takes the whole graph and lifts it up that many units, or drops it that many units. And that's how we graph that.